When human sequence variation is significantly associated with a disease or trait, that can give us clues about the genes and pathways that underlie that phenotype. Rare variants can be especially informative because they often have much larger effects than common variants. But because these variants are rare, single variant genetic associations don't have much statistical power. Instead, gene-level associations, calculated from the aggregate burden of rare variants in a gene, can suggest correlations of genes with diseases and traits. The Genetic Association Interactive Tool, or GATE, securely accesses protected individual-level whole exome sequence data to allow you to do these calculations on the fly. This video will show you how to use the interface. For all the details about the data and the underlying methods, please see our online written documentation accessible from the help link. You can access GATE from the Tools menu of the Knowledge Portals. We'll demonstrate here using the Common Metabolic Diseases Knowledge Portal. First, enter the name of a gene of interest. Then, optionally, select a transcript of that gene. Next, select a data set. If you choose 52K, which refers to the exome sequence analysis from the AMP T2D Genes Consortium, you'll be able to perform aggregation tests for type 2 diabetes and 23 additional related quantitative traits. If you choose TopMed, referring to the exome subset of whole genome sequencing from the TopMed Consortium, you'll be able to run tests for type 2 diabetes, fasting glucose, or fasting insulin. Next, to retrieve the set of variants that will go into your test, select a mask. Masks are filters that group variants based on how severe their impact on protein function is predicted to be. The masks are ordered from the most stringent at the top to the least stringent at the bottom. In other words, if you select Lofty at the top, you'll get a smaller set of variants that are likely to cause a loss of function of the protein. While if you select the masks further down on the list, you'll retrieve more variants with less severe predicted impact. Find all the details about these masks and the methods behind them in our written documentation. After making these selections, click the Search Variants button to see the list of variants that meet your criteria. You can now refine the list by selecting or deselecting individual variants if you wish. Then select Phenotypes as many as you like. And also select one or more test methods. And click Run Analysis. You'll get a table of results for each phenotype with a row of the results for each test. For the collapsing burden test, you can also see a plot showing these associations. Please contact us if you have questions about this interface or if you need help interpreting the results.